So this is my makeup at 2 p.m. I finished two, at 2 p.m. I forgot to take a screenshot, but trust me, this is 2 p.m. It is 8 p.m. right now. And so it has already been six hours. And you can see that my makeup is still intact. My lipstick has faded out a bit, but still is like completely fresh. No creasing happened. And this is 12.05 a.m. I'm taking a picture in the bathroom. You can see that still there is no creasing. The makeup is so smooth. Nothing smudged out. Just the lipstick faded away, but everything is perfect. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. My name is Salama Masood and I make educational beauty videos. Uh, so what is this video about? This video is about long lasting makeup, like how to make your makeup last for the longest period of time. So basically, this, the idea of this video came from my latest like experiments that I've been doing with my makeup and all that. And uh, I, trust me, I put my makeup on at 11 in the morning, 11 a.m. And till half 11 at night, my makeup was still there. Like a little lipstick rubbed off and that was, but it was still there. The lipstick was still there the blush on everything and, and I did not apply any like um, cream blush on before that it was all powder products but everything was still there and I mean it was like the normal day and none of my makeup transferred and all that stuff so I thought I will share all these tips that I have actually incorporated in that makeup routine and I will share it with you guys um, so yeah let's begin with this video but before doing that guys please do subscribe to my channel it's all free please do give my big video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below if you liked this technique if you've tried it and it worked for you then do let me know that how did you like it and uh, yeah any like any even two words of appreciation it will really motivate me to make more productive content for you guys uh, more informative product uh, content for you guys also my social media con social media accounts linked below in the description box below instagram and tiktok do follow me over there guys as well i keep doing makeup transitions i do small like makeup tips and tricks over there so do follow me over on instagram as well and yes without further ado let's begin with this video then guys so the first step in makeup i have done that obviously i have moisturized my face which is needed to um, give your face hydration and all that i've done that bit now the next step the next most important step is to prime your face not to prime is a crime is what Nikki tutorial says and it's true you have to prime and for that like in order to make your makeup long lasting the first tip is to apply a primer that is more gripping that is smoothening and it grips your makeup to your face because the more the makeup grips to your face the more it will last long so for that I am taking this my mini baby the elf uh, power grip primer uh, this is really 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 good you can buy any other primers that you have the milk one is really good as well other other than that if you don't have this available then buy any primer that has gripping like that says that it grips makeup to your face okay so I'm not gonna take a lot I'm just gonna take a tiny like drop a pea size drop of it you don't need a lot I'm just gonna apply it on my face Okay, like this. On my forehead, on my nose. These are the places that my makeup can get off from. My laugh lines. Now I'm just gonna press it all in. Now, if you have dark circles like I do, then do follow this step. Otherwise, you can omit this step and go to the next one. This step is where you are going to apply your color corrector. So for me, I am not going to like, of course, I'm not going to apply a color corrector at the moment. I am going to do a concealer, which is the darker concealer, darker two shades, darker than my skin tone. I'm just going to apply that to my areas where I actually color correct. The first one being my under eyes, obviously like this okay and then over here on my forehead and on my spots 
wherever they are they have reduced a bit but I still have them okay once this is done what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dry sponge okay I've already used it so this is why it's like this only use it twice so don't worry I, I will wash it <laughs> anyway so this is the sponge I'm taking it dry no water in it it's just dry I have not dampened it it's just dry dry sponge okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this color corrector like the deeper concealer with this dry sponge first so let's go ahead don't rub it just pat it as I always say, pat, 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 like this. Nicely press it into your spots. If you don't have a darker concealer, you can simply apply a color corrector. That's that what suits you. Whatever you want to do, like apply a color corrector, darker concealer, just do it with a sponge, a dry sponge. Okay. Now that I have color corrected everything, like spot, spot fixed everything, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to powder it, set everything with powder. And to set it, I am going to take a powder and a powder puff. You can take any powder that suits you. I'm just taking uh, the normal that I use, which is the Makeup Revolution Lace Baking Powder. And I'm just going to fix it under my eyes. And... That's so. Okay. Now the next step that I'm going to do is, you can omit it as well, but I think this helps. So I am going to take a fixing spray, not a setting spray, a fixing spray. This is the Ceramide Fix Fixing Spray from um, uh, Rebecca Revolution. That's this. This says that it is skin protect fixing spray. And yes, it does actually give my face a bit of hydration, like a bit of, you know, uh, my face does not feel dry after this. So I am going to apply this after I've applied the color corrector and the powder. So let's spritz it on the face. Dry it because it's a bit wet. And it's so cold. <laughs> Next step is to apply a foundation. If you don't want to apply a foundation, go straight ahead with your second concealer. That's up to you if you're only doing a concealer makeup. But I will go ahead with a foundation. So for that, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Uh, the shade will be mentioned in the description box below. Uh, but I will tell you as well, this is 6.5D or 6.5W. So just go ahead and apply it all over the face. with a brush. I'm just using a brush and I'm patting it, not swiping it. It takes time, but trust me, this procedure really works. Patting stuff into your skin really makes it long lasting and plus it like doesn't give you streaks and does not take the makeup from underneath your products off. Like right now, it's not taking off the powder, the fixing spray, or even the color corrector. Everything is like nicely merging in. Also remember that I really apply a very small amount of product. Like it, I took hardly one pump and I still have some left here. If you want, you can also go over with a wet beauty blender. You can also apply the foundation with a wet beauty blender. Um, that's not off the table. You can do that. This is a done. I have applied my foundation very seamlessly and it already looks very like hydrogen. Can you see the glow? It's like so nice because of the spray, the fixing spray. That's so good. It gives you hydration. So the next step is to apply my second concealer. As you know, I do like to apply a lighter concealer to highlight everything. I am taking the concealer, um, the e.l.f. concealer for that, which is in the shade Medium Warm. I will link it in the description box below. You can check it out. So I will just apply one dot over here, one dot over here, a little on the nose, the normal like things that I do, nothing too big. Okay, now there is a trick 
this concealer also i'm going to set with a darker sponge just change the this was the place that i blended the darker concealer with and this is still like nice so this side is where i'm going to uh, blend the lighter concealer with so let's start blending with tapping motions just the same uh, procedure applies as you do it with a brush but just do it with a dark lighter concealer okay like this top of the nose everywhere i'm trying to pat it and not like swipe it because patting is what is going to give it a very long lasting finish yeah now this step is done as well can you see that how nice and flawless everything is looking the dry sponge also does not let the makeup sit into your creases now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this whole thing up with a uh, powder let's take the powder on the brush dust the excess off and just set your under eyes with powder and set it everywhere that like you want to i only fix my makeup like set my makeup where i crease tend to crease or where i know that i have a little like oily place like for example my nose this is the oiliest and rest everywhere i crease up now i will go ahead with the rest of the makeup Now I'm going to apply the highlighter. Now I'm going to go ahead with my lipstick but before that let me spray my face once more and now comes the star of the whole look which is this this is l'oreal infallible uh three second setting mist which is 30 seconds hour no transfer and yes and yes i have tested it tried it definitely works it is kind of the hairspray for your face so let's spritz it on your face it's already dried can you imagine there is nothing wet i don't need to dry it with a fan it's already dried up so yeah this is my finished look guys can you see how flawless how glowing and how nice everything looks and <laughs> to the cherry on the top it is going to stay on my face like for a whole day like till I want it will stay on my face so yes these are the best makeup tips that I've come up till now I think because my makeup is not transferring and my makeup is staying on my face especially not transferring especially because of this this nice little boy here it's not that expensive it's really good if you can't get your hands on the L'Oreal in infallible setting spray you can also go with this the she glam uh, setting spray which is the locked in setting spray and it says that keep your makeup fresh all day 16 hour long lasting this is also good last day i applied this and this also lasted me like the whole day so any one of these will do i will link them both in the description box below you can go and check them both out i bought this from tiktok shop by the way and this was from shein so uh yes do go ahead and check uh these out yes guys this is my finished look and i am actually loving it the whole tips that i've given you like the whole step they actually all contribute towards giving you a flawless and long lasting makeup look so do try them out guys and let me know how they work for you if they did then please do let me know in the comment box below okay do let me know that they work for you or not um anyway so this was it for this video guys please give me a big thumbs up please comment below and as always subscribe it's free will not cost you and anything and it will help me a lot so yes with this i'm going to wrap this video up i will see you in the next video very very soon till then take care stay safe stay happy and stay connected bye bye love you